Hi, my name is Subhash. Welcome to the painting tutorial. Today we are going to paint this cute girl with violin. Uh, the background is very bright and sunshine is there. We see a lot of flowers around it. It's going to be fun painting. Stay tuned. Keep watching. Let's start. Uh, today I'm using 12 by 16 canvas and looking at the reference figure I have done the sketch. Now I'm doing a wash uh, with burnt umber and some mix of burnt sienna. So this basically brings the warm feeling in the painting if you do. So after doing this wash with burnt sienna and burnt umber, I'll let this painting dry for a couple of hours and then I'll do a sketch again using Pan Umber and Persian Brew. This will give a clear cut idea about the image. Rubbing the excess paint from the canvas. Now I started a sketch again using Burn Umber and Persian Blue. I'll try to cover all the lines of this figure. This way you will see a clear cut indication where are different shapes and how those are kind of connected. I'm not using any direct black in this painting. I'll be using burnt umber and Persian blue in case I need to have a black shade. Now I started doing a background for this. I'm using sap green, white and some lemon yellow to do the background. I'll keep the above edge and the lower edge uh, with the darker tone and the between these two edges i'll be using a bit lighter tones of green this will give a good depth to the painting i thought of doing this background with green because i'll be doing some flowers and some trees uh, in this painting too and then I'll try, I'll paint a butterfly also in this painting so it will look good. The strokes which I'm using uh, are the crisscross strokes. This will evenly spread the color uh, on the canvas. In this month, this is like August 2019, in this month I have an exhibition uh, of my paintings in Delhi starting from 26th August till 30th and I'll not be present there physically but my paintings are getting displayed there. It's in Gandhi uh, Memorial Hall in Delhi. Now I'm using a titanium white to create some circles and spheres on the canvas. Now started with skin. For skin tone I use uh, orange, burnt sienna, white and some crimson lake. I kept on mixing white tone, white color to get the different tones of the skin. So right now I'm blocking the skin with medium tone of the skin color and then I'll do the detailing with the darker and the lighter tones to get the, the, the effect of each of the poor part of body and the expressions. 
now see on the hand i use a bitter bit uh, darker tones so it is appearing as a shade similarly on the neck i use some darker tones so the edges where you see the curves uh, using burnt umber and persian blue and some portion of red you know get those darker uh, shades on the painting for here i use the burnt umber uh, cadmium yellow and white to get that base uh, and then the darker tones again i'm using to get the hair flow and like the direction of the hair uh, with a small size brushes the liner brushes now i'm working on the features of that cute little girl the nose lips and eyebrows eyes fingers ear this painting i made to gift my daughter uh, she had a birthday on 6th of august so i thought of gifting her this little cute girl with butterfly so that she could keep this in her room my daughter turned to 13 now and turned into teenage in any painting if you do the sketch right then rest part of the painting becomes easy if your sketch is not good no matter how much effort you put on the coloring and the painting will not look good so the sketch is the kind of soul of the painting if you are good in sketching half of the battle is won if your sketch is good so detailing is like done when the base is kind of dry that's how i do i wait like for a couple of hours or maybe a day to do a next layer it will it gives a kind of accurate effect on the painting some paintings i do wet on wet but in this painting i'm letting the previous layer dry and then do the next layer i'm getting a uh, different tones of the skin color applying on the appropriate areas to highlight and low light uh, the the figure For violin, I'll be using the burnt sienna, burnt umber. Some highlights I'll be using the cadmium yellow and white.
I'm working on the hair. This is like second layer of the hair and I'll be doing one more layer with the lighter tones to get the uh, effect of, of brown hair. It's, uh, this girl is like from the foreign country, not an Indian girl which I'm painting. So as per the color scheme, her hair should be a bit lighter and the brownish. So I'm working on the base and then the next layer I'll be using brown tones to get the brown color effect. I started with the rock uh, using orange, yellow, uh, red, crimson red, a mix of these colors to get the base and then some decoration or design I'll be using the darker tones like uh, Persian blue, uh, white, red, so the spots which I'll be painting on the front. This is a 16 by 12 uh, size canvas, small painting, and it's very easy to kind of keep anywhere on the table or hang that out on the wall. So, uh, very good uh, item to gift anybody on the occasion of birthday or small functions so this gives a kind of a big personal touch uh, for the gift it's a handmade painting I'm very excited to give this to my daughter. Started with the spots or the design on the painting. Then the frog. Initially, I thought to have a sky blue. Or the pink color frog, but later that is decided to kind of keep it in this color tone. Now uh, after the crop finished, uh, I'll do them some grass and the uh, flower, those sort of things. As I said earlier, now I'm using a bit lighter or the brownie uh, shades for the highlighting of hair because as for the skin tone, her hair should be kind of brownish or yellowish. Some fine tuning on the hands, fingers, neck, 
any painting if you relook really at you can find some places where you can do something more so you know any painting if it is even finished painting as well now i'm doing the grass uh, using sap green and some mixture of one number to first create the darker uh, grass and then i be mixing some lighter tones of green and yellows to highlight uh, and it shows uh, it's going to show the light effect on the grass i'll be using some uh, colors like red yellow for the flower this way the painting will look more interesting we are almost done with the painting hope you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe to my channel please keep on watching my channel share the link of this video to your friends family and whoever wants to learn painting thank you very much guys i'll be back with new video soon thank you